This is the clicker, right? That's the clicker. All right, of course it is. I'm, I'm Team Wired. I know about technology. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh, look, it's, uh, it's the screen. Listen, uh, sorry for my technical jargon. Uh, it's great to be here, guys. I, I'm, I don't need to tell you about why it's better to be wired, so good night. Uh, thank you, I made my case. Listen, guys, uh, uh, let's get started with the presentation. Here's the case for being wired, connected, all right? Now, a lot of people talk smack about being connected to the internet. You know what they say? They say, these days, everyone's communicating online. Nobody talks to each other face to face anymore. Wah, wah, wah. Well, you know what I say? Face to face communication is overrated. And I'm going to prove that right now by talking to somebody that I've never talked to in the audience. That's right. Uh, hi, sir. Unfortunately, you sat here. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you. Uh, what, what's your name? Mike. Mike. Uh, good, good name. Um, what, do you, what do you do? I'm retired. Uh, sir, hi. <laughs> hi, sir. Uh, what's your name? Alan. Speak into the microphone. <laughs> Alan, that's a, that's a beautiful name. Um, what's, uh, what do you do? I'm an attorney. What do you, uh, you um, sue people? Yeah. Uh, what's, your, uh, what's your specialty? Personal injury. Uh, okay. Anyone want a card? Anyway, I think I made my point. Uh, but, uh, so anyway, yeah, I mean, but now because we have the internet, we never have to do that. I never have to talk to Alan or Steve ever again. Uh, and I promise I won't. And oh, look, there's a nice uh, animal friendship gift yes. to kind of wash the uh, taste of that awkward interaction out of my mouth. <laughs> look at those two, they're made for each other. Anyway, another thing that people say, when they're like, oh, you gotta unplug, it's worse being connected. They say people are too obsessed with their phones, right? It distracts them from focusing on the important things in life. Oh, really, the important things like life, in life, like uh, everyone you love will die? Those important things? I would like to be distracted from those things. Oh, that's just me, I don't know. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll expand on what I'm talking about. Uh, for example, when you're on the internet, perhaps you're familiar with one Josh Gondelman. That's right. He's very big on Twitter, which is an internet phenomenon. I don't know if you've heard of it, but he's great. When I'm depressed, I go straight to Josh Gondelman's Twitter account, and I get pithy, funny jokes for free. All right? But let's say that my cell phone dies or whatever, you know, and I don't have access to this. Let's just say I'm in a room with myself and my thoughts. What am I forced to do? Think about possible ways that Josh Garland can meet his demise. Cancer, a bear attack, a mafia hit, falling rocks? Luckily, I don't have to do that because I have a portable charger. Anyway, let me just uh, recharge for a second. Look at that, oh, look, it's a threesome. You can only get this on the internet, or if you go to wherever that place is, that that's happening. <laughs> but Lord knows where that is. Anyway, another a third argument against uh, being connected via the internet is tech doesn't just connect us from each other, it disconnects us from the world that surrounds us. To that person, I say, try finding a good place to eat without Yelp. That's right. Huh? That's right, a mini applause break, right there. <laughs> These two ladies get it. Man, I wish I'd crowd worked with you. <laughs> Instead of Steve and Alan. <laughs> if I'm remembering those names right. 
Anyway, the last time that I went phoneless, as they call it, went outside without my phone. I can't believe I even thought about doing that. And I found a place to eat. You know the best place that I could find? You know where, what it is? Where was Dave's Chinese Kitchen? That's right, I ate Chinese food made by a guy named Dave. Oh, that sounds real good. Yeah, I'll have the General Steve's Chicken with a side of Mugu Guy Brian. No, no thank you. And when I came back an hour later without my phone, I had some text messages waiting for me, you know? You ever had that feeling of like, oh, maybe I missed something important? Well, guess what I missed? Hey man, it's Warren Buffett. I was just doing some sprint cleaning and I wanted to know if you wanted a billion dollars. Text me back ASAP. Then a few minutes later, hey Matt, I haven't heard from you, so I'm just gonna give the money to a white supremacist hate group. Sorry, sad face. That's right, it happened to me. And you know the only thing that could cheer me up? That's right, an animal friendship. All right, thank you very much.